Why does God allow suffering? It's a question that has echoed through the ages, one that can shake our faith and leave us questioning the very nature of our world. But I want to offer a perspective that may provide understanding and hope, grounded in the wisdom of Scripture. Suffering is a universal experience. It touches every life, no matter who we are or where we come from. It's inescapable, and often it leaves us reeling, searching for answers. But perhaps, in our quest for understanding, we can find solace in the idea that suffering is not permanent. It's a passage through which we must journey to become better, stronger individuals. First, let me share with you one of the most cherished verses in the Bible, Romans 8.28. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. This verse reminds us that even in the face of adversity and suffering, God's ultimate plan is for our good. It may be difficult to grasp in times of darkness, but there is a purpose behind every trial, and God is there to guide us through it. But what about moments of intense suffering, such as natural disasters or the loss of loved ones? These are heart-wrenching events that often leave us questioning God's love and presence. When we face devastation, God is not distant. He is near, offering comfort, strength, and hope. It's a part of the human condition to face trials and tribulations. Yet, our faith teaches us that even in the darkest hours, God's love remains unwavering. Romans 8, 38, 39 reminds us, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Often we must acknowledge that God's ways are beyond our full comprehension. His divine plan may involve purposes that extend far beyond our individual understanding. In moments of suffering, we may not see the greater picture, but it's possible that God is working towards a greater good that we can't perceive in the present. The Bible provides profound insights into the reasons why God allows suffering in our lives. It reminds us that through suffering, our focus turns inward. It compels us to face aspects of ourselves we might otherwise ignore. Just as gold is refined through fire, our characters are shaped and purified through the trials we endure. Consider Romans 5, 3, 5, which tells us that suffering produces perseverance, character, and hope. It's a reminder that suffering is not without purpose. It's a catalyst for growth and transformation. Our suffering can draw us closer to God, humbling us and cultivating dependence on Him. This world, with all its beauty and wonder, is not our ultimate home. Suffering reminds us of this profound truth. As 1 Peter 4.12 tells us, Dear friends, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that has come on you. This world is not immune to pain, but God mercifully prepares us to navigate through it. Scripture also speaks to the idea that suffering is a path we must tread to enter the kingdom of God. Acts 14.22 It's a journey marked by hardships, but it's a journey toward an eternal and perfect home where suffering has no place. Suffering is not without purpose. It trains us in righteousness and deepens our character. It's a refining process, much like a sculptor chiseling away imperfections to reveal a masterpiece. James 1-2-4 teaches us that trials produce perseverance and lead to maturity. They equip us to become better people, capable of love and enjoyment of God forever. God doesn't deny the suffering in our world. Instead, He mercifully prepares us for when suffering happens. He is not just a God who relates to us, but He is also a God who has taken part in our suffering and suffered immensely on our behalf through the cross of Christ, making Him a God who understands our pain, our struggles, and our questions. Consider the idea that our physical bodies are transient, fleeting, and ultimately temporary. Yet, the soul within us, the essence of our being, is precious to God. It's in our moments of suffering, when our physical bodies are in distress, that our spirits often yearn for solace and understanding. In the Bible, James 1-2-4 reminds us, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. This passage encourages us to view suffering as a refining process, a way for God to mold our spirits to make us stronger and ultimately to prepare us for eternal life with Him. Sometimes it's through the storms of life that we awaken to the reality of our spiritual journey. 
Just as a thunderstorm can jolt us from our slumber, suffering can prompt us to examine our lives, to repent for our transgressions, and to turn our hearts and spirits towards God. So, my friends, while suffering can be painful and confusing, let us find solace in the truth that it's not permanent. It's a journey toward growth and transformation. It reminds us that this world is not our final destination, and it deepens our dependence on God. As we go through the fiery trials of life, let us remember that they refine us, making us better, stronger, and more capable of love. Let us find encouragement in God's Word, a source of wisdom and solace in times of suffering. And may we walk this path with faith, knowing that suffering is not the end, but a chapter in our journey toward eternity. Thank you, and may you find strength and hope in the midst of life's trials. God bless you. By subscribing, you become a vital part of our mission to spread the Word of God and uplift countless lives. Join us in making a positive impact. Hit that subscribe button now.